Here at Fort Sill, I came face to face with the children. I asked some of them how they were doing. Many would smile and say bien or good. Now, we were told not to interact with the kids, and that is not the only restriction the Department of Health and Human Services put in place. Notepad. That's it. No cell phone, no cameras, which means you have to stay put over here. I loaded up in a van with HHS officials and members of the media for an hour long tour. The guides read from a script, and reporters were told not to ask questions. They drove us to basic trainee barracks on post where 1,160 illegal immigrant children are staying. The federal government released photographs and a short video beyond the security gate. Inside, the buildings are stark but clean with some signs of aging. Beds are lined up, covered. In white linens. Decorations made by the children make the barracks feel a little less military. HHS also gave us this video from a Texas shelter. At Fort Sill, I saw similar scenes kids playing in the grass, doing arts and crafts, singing and dancing. But the buildings at times still felt like an institution with designated areas for medical attention and case management. The children are told when to eat, shower, and sleep. They can make two 10 minute phone calls a week. Spanish speaking workers try to connect them with loved ones or sponsor families in the U.S. Since the children started arriving here about a month ago, 567 have been discharged. Now, HHS says the shelter will remain open for about another three months. After that, the kids could end up at another shelter if they're not placed in homes. At Fort Sill, I'm Jessica Shambach, KOCO 5 News. Now, HHS says it won't allow media cameras inside because it is protecting the children. Many of them are from Mexico and Central America countries such as Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala. Some are escaping violence or abuse. Others are part of human trafficking rings. The total cost of this program nationwide tops $900 million for this fiscal year. Now, this number may be shocking to you, but we did some research and found that since the start of this year alone, some 47,000 children have crossed illegally into the U.S. from Mexico. 